cloud has some really big benefits um, and you know it can really help us with a lot of the challenges we now find ourselves facing in the current environment. So if you think about it as an organization yourself to, to set up and to manage um, you know, security defenses through things like threat intelligence and security operations centers, it is, it's, it's quite an undertaking to do that, especially it's not normally part of your core business or core activity. So by going through a cloud provider, you get access to the ability for them to better manage your, your systems, your architecture uh, and your information. Um, again, they have relationships with the large vendors, so they're seeing some of the challenges on a regular in real-time basis often in terms of relationships they have. They have threat intelligence that, uh, it, that is again looking and scanning out there on a, on a real-time basis and understanding how that maps onto the architecture and the information they look after for you. So real big benefits there in terms of, of leveraging that capability and knowing, knowing that you can sleep safely that somebody else is worrying about this. There are a number of key things organizations need to think about when they look at the risk associated with the cloud. It means brings so many benefits, but it also brings risks. Firstly, I think the key is around um, you know, responsibility. Uh, you should not assume that if you hand over your data or your applications to a cloud provider, that your responsibility for looking after that data or, security or information is, is now negated. It, it's very much not the case. And again, if there is a breach, you know, there is a concept of joint responsibility or liability around this. And the information commissioner, the ICO in the UK here has made it very clear that if you lose information, um, you are jointly liable and responsible with your, your cloud provider. So it's really important to understand how that cloud provider is managing and securing that information. Um, Related to that is, is, is the greater risk as well of looking and understanding exactly where that data is held. And a lot of contracts with the cloud providers have a, an audit clause in them. And we always emphasize it's really important for clients to actually use that audit clause and to go and look and inspect in terms of where that data has been held and managed by the cloud provider. Secondly, around this, I think one of the other things we see is that cloud provides a brilliant benefit in terms of being able to access information in real time um, and to, to do all kinds of analytics on it, which is really important as we move into the digital transformation age. Um, but of course, there is a risk associated with that, that if you sort of throw out the doors and let everybody have access to that information, um, there, is, there is a concern that you might lose that information, it may get corrupted um, or it may be breached. Um, so that's really important. And we're seeing a whole set of, of behaviors and activities and tools that go alongside that to help clients. Um, for example, you know, tools that allow you to lock down data based on fine-grained security controls. So you give access to a person to for analytical purposes for that information set, but for a defined purpose, for a defined time period. Um, and, and may well be you anonymize the data set as well. So some of the tools and techniques out there allow you to anonymize the data set. So you don't have to give everything to a person in terms of doing some analytics around that.